Hi. <laughs> I'm in the Donautal. I'm climbing with Floris Hi. from Dutch Outdoor Group. Uh, I will link his channel below. Uh, we selected a nice route here at the Schreifelsen. I will write down the names so you can Google it. Um, here is a parking place. We have to go up there through the forest. The first piece of the multi pitch route is in the forest. And then we come over the forest and have some view. I've been here two years ago, so I cannot remember the route that much, but yeah, let's see. All right. Here is. Yeah, we have a single copy of the topo in the backpack, so if you want to check the route when we are on the go, I have the small topo with me. A lot of stuff, two slings to make a belay, uh, because it's multi-pitch, helmet, and we take on our stuff right now, it looks a bit silly, but we don't have to carry it in the backpack or something, that's quite cool. Yeah, down there you can go to the left, there is a big sector with a wall, with, with a, lot, a lot of trees and you can go to the right, there are, the rock is more clean and seems to be the right start of the, of the route. Right. Yeah, there it goes, somewhere. That's so. the uh, first pitch I guess. Um, there has to be the hole somewhere, and the yeah. first pitch, remember right, is here, I guess. It's not so far inside the edge. Because this is the thing where you have the variations uh, A, B and C. Ah, so A starts on this side and... A yeah. here, B on this. Ah, here it is, I guess. I think it's right here. This one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at first we remember some basics and talk about the commandos because usually I climb with German partners and so I'm used to German commandos but of course talking Dutch and <laughs> English so I have to yeah. talk about all, the commandos. All each other, Dutch, <laughs> English. A bit of German. Yeah. Autobahn. Nice words. Kogelschreiber. Kogelschreiber. Yeah. Yeah, so we talk about the commandos that they are completely clear and there are no misunderstandings mm -hmm. when climbing. Nice. Cool. At first, uh, anchor building? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so on, uh, on belay, yeah, and then you can pull pull hard, so I even if I don't cannot hear you, I'll, ah, right. I will so feel, ah, and then I can go. Yeah. Then you can me off, and then I will, will go. And Good one. <laughs> it's a good year. Good year. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We had a very warm summer, so. It's a good year. <laughs> Here I some kind of brown, but uh, I was inside there uh, last time. It was really nice. Already thirsty. <laughs> uh, yeah. It'll be a reward when we get to the top. That's right. Usually I make a uh, knot in the end, but wait. you can already tie in. Sorry? Yep. Because then uh, it, ah, the whole okay. process is easier. That's perfect. Helmet, nice. Uh, if you want, you can even tie yourself to the tree, but I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Just a bit of warm up. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing. Your fingers make noises. What? <laughs> the fuck? What? Okay, now I will start. Cool. Good luck. Merci. So if I remember right, the beginning was some bit annoying.
First bolt. Nice. Congratulations. How many volts until the first pitch? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, some loose small rocks, so watch out. I just arrived at the first anchor. Here I secure myself to a bolt with a big HMS locking carabiner and a glow hitch. Then I tell Flores I'm safe and then I will start to build the belay. Flores, I'm safe! First I have to take in all the slack, then I attach the rope to the belay device and then I can belay flowers following me. Flores! On belay! Hi, how's it going? It's, yeah, it's getting really warm. Maybe we should have should have brought the ice cream. Oh yeah. Now, if you want, you can watch how I, I do this rope stuff up here. Oh, yes. It's just like like this the whole time, and I feel when there's tension. Uh -huh. And then when there's a big chunk, I just place it over here, ah, and we can right. continue. Okay. Okay. But if I remember right, it goes here on the left, I guess. Yeah. Should be the one that's left. We can just check the topo. Yeah. Ah, over here, yeah. You can see the, they used. Yeah, it's funny. The, the rocks are all very soft where they are. Yeah. <laughs> stepped upon. Soft and slippery. Yeah. It's almost straight and left. Let's see. Flowers hands me over my quick cross. He removes from the rock when climbing as a second. Then I take all my belay stuff with me. We prepare the rope for the next pitch and then I can start climbing. Dummy runner. Over here, what did you call me? <laughs> Personal 
tension or anchor system. Okay, now the problem is we have the same carabiner, so we have to really watch out that we open ah, the right ones. Right. Usually I try to avoid this, but this time I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. So this is the right one. So. Or we could even place the dummy runner inside here. And then get the second one over there. All right. Climbing. Okay. On the line, yes. Climbing. Oh, two bolts. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. I guess this is a traverse and we have to climb inside this edge. That's correct. Okay, so when you're at the top and you're safe, I uh, remove everything here? Yeah, everything. Take everything with you? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Flores, I'm safe! Flores, on belay!
That one was a bit tricky, right? <laughs> Take you out? Yep. Yeah. I think it's the uh, sling is too short to connect both. Ah. So, yeah. Yeah, this one should have been long enough, I guess. Uh, but we could also uh, do, uh, have skipped this and continue climbing, but I thought so we have more time to enjoy yeah, sure. some rest. What we also can do is to connect them for now we can do like like this and then we have even have redundancy ah yes you know because i don't i never trust those old ropes they are hanging in the sun all day ah, long oh this was here oh, yeah okay, this yeah. was here maybe it's it's so old yeah people like to clip into it but if i don't place it myself i don't trust it because maybe it's five years old you don't yeah. see it maybe First, give me my quick draws. Oh yes, I'm so sorry, your precious quick draws. <laughs> yeah. Um, all so those ones, those ones all have been uh, extendable ones. All but I didn't use them that often, so I changed to the not extendable ones ah. because they are lighter and less bulky. And yeah, and now I could have needed like two or three more extendables. Yeah, but it worked. It worked, yeah. But it was uh, some rope track. Yeah, if we would have to hurry up, we could have skipped this uh, pitch, this anchor. Oh yeah. We made it in one pitch. Would be more efficient, more faster. But we have time. We want to enjoy. Come and unicate and do it slow. You know, Flores is again belaying me. I am lead climbing. We already attached the dummy runner. All right. Uh, yeah, I will change the battery of my GoPro and then continue climbing. All right. Uh, for this, I will use my personal anchor system so you can do some rest. A <laughs> big sack. Big sack. <laughs> big sack. The one and only. Want some cocaine powder? Definitely. <laughs> no, I meant the root because of those sloppy parts. Whoa. Just like in the shower.
On belay. It's nice when the wind goes through the rocks there. <laughs> that's right, and the shade and in the shade. shade. <laughs> the shade, slim shady. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's it? Yeah. Uh, feel free to go up here. <laughs> oh, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, now we are on the top. Flores, how was it? It was fun. It was fun, yeah. yeah. It was really fun. It was a cool experience to be Climbing in the rocks, we've of course been climbing in the rocks before, but this was a, a longer part than that we've done. And also because you cannot see each other anymore at some part, so it's really interesting to have done that. So you really have to listen carefully, which is, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Nice. Yeah, it's really that's fun. The, that's the difference between uh, normal spot climbing and multi-pitch. Yeah. Definitely. You will uh, have, have moments where you are alone mm -hmm. and you don't, cannot see your partner and yeah. you just have to rely on a partner without yeah. seeing what he's doing. Exactly, yeah. Uh, just playing well. on his Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> or PlayStation. Oh yeah, oh, yeah definitely. <laughs> oh, I <brought> my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, no, but it, it's, it's good fun. It's, it's definitely a change. So it's, uh, yeah, it's fun. Nice, also the view here is quite cool. There's, Ooh, yeah. there's an old building over there. It even has the Dutch flag. Ooh. It even has the Dutch flag. Uh, yeah, some of the, the footholds and handholds were uh, slippery. It uh, was a bit annoying, but was okay. Yeah, it's funny to see because uh, it's been climbed a lot this route, so you can exactly see where a lot of people been grabbing the rock. They say, "Ooh, it's nice and smooth here. You <laughs> must grab here." But then on the other side, it's nice and smooth, so you don't have a lot of grip. So. <laughs> Yeah, nice. At first we thought about changing the roles. So at first I lead climbing and then we change and Flores is lead climbing. But now we decided to go to another rock, to the Aussichtsfelsen. I've been there before a couple of times. It's one of my favorite rocks here in Donauthal because the approach is so short and so easy to find and so easy to start. It's, it's nice. Uh, it's also got relatively easy. Uh, Multi-pitch, two pitches. Uh, first is, I think, 40 meters. Second one, like, 35. Could do it in one pitch, but I think okay. we will also do it in two pitches. It's more fun. We'll see. We'll see. Sure. But at first, we have to rapple down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, sign says. Simon says! <laughs> Eight meters to the left. Three times 22 meters. So, I have something special with me the Beal Escaper. Beal Escaper. I've shown you yesterday. Yeah. You remember the thing with the yeah, elastic yes. parts? Yeah. And um, I think we will try this. Out today because now Flores is with me, so he can go down first. And <laughs> <laughs> so if I die, it's then I will see. Okay, it, yeah. it's not working. Hmm, okay, <laughs> so this doesn't work. Yeah. All right. First, we have to take our rope. Nice. It's the first part. Once you're hanging, it's. Yeah, once you're hanging, it's it's com com comfortable. Or it's nice. It's only the beginning, always. I'm all set. You're all set. That's all okay. Ah. Okay. That looks okay, I guess. <laughs> what? Tiny little space. Yeah. We'll just look underneath. Okay. So we'll hang. First time using it under real conditions. It's certified and made for this. So no worries. Cool. For the first one, we make a knot here, so 
cannot slip. We cannot, cannot slip. Yeah, even if you stood, are down there and you're moving, it's it cannot yeah, go it's through. Like, right. Thank you very much. We all the way. Okay, good. No hassle halfway there. The rope is still attached to the anchor mm -hmm. and to my belay loop. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Fuck you, see? <laughs> uh, can do it just like that. Final check. Yep. Okay. Here you go. See you down there. <laughs> Hopefully in one piece. Yeah. I'm sure in one piece. So we already also have redundancy. Yeah. Okay. Here we go again. Woo. Okay. Full weight. We are using the BL escaper and we have an 80 meter rope, so we could have made this whole rubble piece in one piece in one time. But oh, um, at the beginning of the rubble, it was a bit of catchy, uh, so we wanted to avoid that the escaper or the knot in the rope will catch somewhere. So we rappled at first the first 22 meters, and now it's 44 meters. Screen's gone dark. That's okay. okay. And now the escaper works with the spring tension or elastic tension and now we have to pull several times and normally it should get undone and fall down, hopefully. The instruction says I have to pull eight times and I forgot counting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have a steady rope, it's so much more easy. Maybe it's uh, caught between rocks. No. Uh, Can you see it? No. <laughs> but I guess uh, the thing is, uh, it needs to relax between pulls. Ah, right. <sighs> Maybe if you whip the rope. Oh, there it comes. Oh, oh. suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Woo. so it works. <laughs> eight poles only. <laughs> <laughs> only eight poles? I cut out the 20 extra ones. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Cool. Interesting. Whew. Yeah, I think really the problem is to like, uh, the elasticity. Yeah, it needs to relax in between yeah. the... The elasticity of the rope because you need... Right, this. yeah. This makes it open. Yeah. And slide it through this prosic-like thing. <laughs> but it worked. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. It's a nice system. My hands are too small for the for the rope. The Aussichtfelsen. <laughs> Amazing. Flores, this is where it all started. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Right. We have been to the supermarket, doing some, uh, taking some substantial drink to eat, and now we are here at the Aussichtsfelsen. You can park your car right in front of it. That's quite cool. And there it is. We are oh. going to climb the Adolf 
Niklas Adolfs Gedenkweg. Yeah, that yeah. one. That one. Off belay. That's me. Climbing. Last time it wasn't that slippy if I remember right. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, almost. Almost there. Okay. I am safe. Cool. And I will check you out. Nice. Oh. Oh, was it leading? Uh, cool. Yeah. Total different, yeah. different uh, experience, right? Yeah, I thought it would have been more scary, but it's the route is rather uh, well, it's not not so steep, so yeah, you're very confident in in your climbing, so that makes it a lot easier. That's right. Uh, yeah, then I only need to extenders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're at our first anchor. Mm -hmm. Now there's the second pitch. Second pitch is a bit more uh, hard, difficult. 
a bit more it's like uh, intense intense a bit more intense because it's also higher as a three or four uea uea i will write it write, write a crate down uh, below and somewhere yeah it's a three to four yeah nice all right then yeah see, you can still see the river from here Ooh. This is one pillar. Yeah. Now I will lead climb to next pitch and Flores will be my belayer from here. Then I will follow. Then it's time for rappelling. Yeah. Rappelling. Rappelling. Rappel. Rappelling. Upsiling. Yeah. Upsiling is also English to my German subscribers. Ah. <laughs> yeah, once I said uh, upsiling in a video and the name of the video was upsiling. Yeah. And some said, uh, upsetting is not even an English word. Do it. <laughs> Just Google it, please. You, you know what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give myself a bit more space here. Mm. All right, all, all right. checked. Amazing. Cool. Cool. Should, should work. <laughs> it should work. Uh, I, take, you know. I, I take me out. Okay. Whoops. Bye. Whoops. The whoops commando. The most important one. <laughs> Cause dummy runner. Don't forget it. Dummy Watch. runner. <laughs> All right. Climbing. Okay. On delay. Awesome. <laughs> or delay. I hope I'll find it. I hope I find the route. I hope so too. Yeah, this part is already a bit tricky. Thanks. I think that's better. Sketchy.
On top of the second pitch there is a big tree and I will use it as an anchor. Of course with two slings for redundancy. Boris, I'm safe! On delay! I guess there are worse places to read the news. Yeah, I think so too. That was a good one, right? Not bad? Yeah. Because if you want, but I would just wrap on the route. How was it? We made yeah, it. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Well, that's it for today. Watching the begin of the sunset. Oh yeah. Circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Huh. The entire climbing. Belaying. It's really, really a term that uh, our climbing instructor told us when we were learning how to uh, lead climb. He said it's really use it or lose it. Yeah. So if you don't do it often enough, you forget about certain things. And then once you're in the moment and you're doing it again, you're like, oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it for today. Just rappelling back to the car and then back home. It yeah. was a nice trip. Flores, thanks for, uh, yeah. for visiting me. Yeah, thanks for having me once again. <laughs> We're just spontaneously yeah. sending you a message. <laughs> I know I'm very tired. Tired? Tired? Tiresome? People get tired of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure my viewers are not getting tired of ah, you. Ah, okay. <laughs> in that case, I will come uh, back. Write in the comments, hashtag Flores, if you like Flores and want to see him in my Woo! videos again. Woo -woo! Hashtag Flores. <laughs> yeah. I'm rappelling and then see you next time. Bye. Ciao.